Previously, a battle of the sexes. Come on, Jim, you grumpy bastard. Do we have to form a cute love argument with you? I just can't stand it. She's a player, bro. How much more do you want to put me through? I'm really upset now. It's been so stressful, and I'm trying to hold it together. Loopy bitch. Snidey shit. How bollocks do all of you? How low can you go? Linda is a very dangerous woman. Line on. Told you. And the third celebrity was evicted. I can't know. Tonight, the celebrities unleash their talent. Jim, your blue sweater is as old as your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> And resentments fester. He's a dick. He's so miserable. You want him to want you. Oh my goodness, shut up, nice and bye. Ah, okay. Me again. <laughs> Just talk to people, communicate instead of bitching. I'm not gonna argue with you. How could this evening be improved? I could die. All this the shit that I've put up with. There's never a plan, there's never a planned situation. Did you ever consider my feelings in this whole situation? Dear 16, 9.50 a.m. Ah, oh dear. It's the morning. Housemates are waking up after an eventful evening. Last night, Louisa kept Jim awake once again. The extra little ten minutes there. You're screaming, Louisa. Jim's collapsed by the door. I'm fine. Grow up, Louisa. This morning, Jim's getting his own back. You was hysterical, wasn't it? I was absolutely hysterical. You make me laugh. You are so clever sometimes. Because at one point he told you to grow up, and I was thinking, you're sitting by the door. <laughs> and then banging you. around this morning was hysterical. Oh, I know. Oh, All God. those sort of things just make you funny. It yeah. Makes it, it makes it really funny. You don't know why he's doing it. I see. I think he thinks he's going to piss everyone off. But mm. he's not. It's funny. The thing is, I don't know why he's pissed off last night, what? Because we were all having fun. The thing is, he gives me so much fuel to do it to him oh, because yeah, funny. I just feel like A, he deserves it, B, he's a dick, and C, like, it sounds cool, but he's so, he's so easy. I mean, it's just so easy. This is my new hobby, to be honest. I could do it all day. I think I might. How did you sleep, Jim? <laughs> well, I went to sleep early because um, now I'm still here. I was thinking to myself, well, you know, then getting in more trouble, listening to drunken people rambling, so I crept off to bed. And it is quite extraordinary how all these people that are your friends and whatever have no consideration for anyone else sleeping. Louisa, I'm afraid, has made a sport of it now, keeping me awake. She finds it great fun. She's rapidly becoming someone I've got to keep my distance from. She's someone I don't like very much. She's not the type of person I ever want to meet again. And there's something very unattractive about that woman. Eleven o four a.m. 
Louisa's getting creative. Oh, I've got a good game. <laughs> Bless your heart. How about we make an orchestra? With all our instruments? Yeah. I'll be the bagpipe. <laughs> Saucepans, wooden spoons, bottles that we blow in for, for woodwind. That would be quite fun, you know. And we can all try and get like a tune going with our bit Big Brother Orchestra. You know what? I'm keen on that. <laughs> Jim's certainly going to get the hump with that. I've got another game. <laughs> Things to do to piss Jim off today. I think that's probably well on the way. Let me guess who that might be. Jim is probably trying right. to throw himself off the lodge. One or three p.m. Dappy is concerned about Jim. How's the winner? I got a sore throat this morning. Well, you didn't snore. I slept on the floor next to your bed. Did you? Every time I walk down, when I walk down to Lisa, she starts screaming at me. It's the Grim Reaper! It's the Grim Reaper! And then we're just giggling. I don't know. I can't get my head around it. So I thought, fuck it, I'm not going to moan. I'll go up and kip near the old Dap. Yeah, of course. I don't know what's wrong with that woman. I think she finds it like a sport now. She doesn't give a fuck about anybody's feelings, does she? So I won't moan today. I'll, keep, I'll just tell you you're my mate, but I'll keep her out, out of her way today. Louisa is offloading about Jim. My main aim in life is to piss Jim Thrush Davidson off so that he doesn't speak to me. He's the biggest game player in here. There are a few game players, but Jim's definitely the biggest. Who else is playing games? Well, I adore him and I think he's one of the most amazing people I've ever met, but I think Ollie's definitely playing a game to win, or at least playing a game to be here for the long haul. I've never met anyone that just doesn't have an opinion or anything. The only thing that we have to talk about in here is each other and the situations that are going on and we can speculate and people are paranoid because we're in this enclosed, heightened environment and I'm fine with that. But a few people are just starting to bloody crumble. I just think everyone's like, I just don't know. It's bizarre. I mean, look at Lee and Casey. Bizarre. Lee did like Casey, and I think that they both would have discussed having a showmance. So he then he went from Casey to Jasmine, and his way of making maybe himself look less bad was to say it was a full-blown showmance and say that he never liked Casey. But I think that he actually did like Casey, and I think that Casey still likes Lee. And I think that if Lee said to Casey, let's give it another go, I'm not interested in Jasmine, she'd jump at the chance. Coming up... Jim takes centre stage. Time for In the Limelight here at the Celebrity Big Brother House. <laughs> and Liz has her say. She should go naked rather than wear fur, which, by the way, is as over as your career. Two thirty nine PM For today's task, housemates will be competing in Big Brother's talent show in the limelight. 
While Jim, Linda and Louisa will be taking on judge's duties, the rest of the housemates are hard at work, perfecting their acts. Liz will be delivering a fashion critique of her fellow housemates. Lee is composing a new song about his time in the house. Change from day to day Feel so long ago Big Brother has asked Sam and Ollie to act out a constructed reality scene and they'll have to incorporate a series of props that will only be revealed to them during their performance. Big Brother uh, will provide you each with a bag to take to your scene which may contain props to use in the scene. You should not look inside these bags until it's structured to your... It's probably like a pair of knickers or... You should use your experience of constructive reality to seamlessly incorporate the ever-changing scene in which you find yourselves. But we need awkward silences. I know you're going to be so serious. <laughs> well, I'm, going be, I'm going to be so serious. You're so serious. You're good, yeah. though. Um, once I've thrown the drink, you know, like when someone walks off and it's like the music and you sort of look into the, I think I should walk off, and then you do the whole looking down. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. Dappy is rehearsing his number one single, No Regrets. <laughs> Kiersey has been asked to defend her profession, glamour modelling, and Judge Jim is offering her a helping hand. Thank you, they're about to cheer. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank and they're a little curtsy, like that. But stay down, look up at them as if to say, look at me. <laughs> yeah. I'm a glamour model. Okay. I'm a glamour model. <laughs> yes. I tell you that in case there's some confusion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Some people think we're we're not role models. No. Some people think well, we're not role models for young girls and we're crude. Well that's fucking bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, as for role models, I mean, how else are you gonna get a footballer? <laughs> Okay. Are you happier with it now? Yes, thank you. And think of some of your own stuff. Okay, thank you. And find you. that character. All right, thank you. Right. Five forty-four p.m. The stage is set. The performers are ready. It's time to welcome your horse, Mister Jim Davidson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new special edition of uh, In the Limelight. Uh, and before we go any further, I'm going to introduce our guest judges. Two people who I couldn't give a f I like to say. <laughs> it is a pleasure to welcome Louise. There she is. Louise, you look absolutely lovely. How are you? Are you all right? Pleasure for you to meet Louisa. Jim. Yes, it is. Yes, it is a pleasure for me to. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> it reminds me, Louisa has these wonderful keep fit parties where 150 <laughs> couples go around and they keep fit all night long, don't they? In fact, you're very fit, aren't you? Yes, I remember this girl could have your ankles away and be underneath you before you hit the floor. <laughs> yes, yes. Jim, you were a great addition to our parties. I remember you. Do you really? Yes, every party needs a great waiter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, take your seat. <laughs> if we don't fall over and break your <laughs> neck or anything like that. Yes, probably not the right expression, but give her a clap. Yes, jolly good. Jolly good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Linda Nolan! Yay! Now, Linda, Linda and I, there's been a little bit of banter on the, on the, on the show about how we're, uh, how we're not getting on. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I'm here to tell you, viewers at home, uh, that I love Linda and there's nothing I wouldn't do for her. And I love Jim. And there's yes. nothing I wouldn't do for him. And that's how we go through life. Doing, Doing fuck, fuck all for, for each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. So, without further ado, it's time for In the Limelight here at the Celebrity Big Brother House. Woo! First to perform, it's controversial journalist Liz Jones. Uh, my name is Liz, and I'm a fashion guru. Sweeties, the Celebrity Big Brother bedroom 
resembles an explosion in a Primark factory. <laughs> 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 Should we start with the boys? Yeah. Dappy wears his tracksuit bottom so low slung he resembles a toddler huh. with a filled nappy. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie, <laughs> darling, you apply so much man tan <laughs> that if I come into contact with you, it is like being smudged by a giant moth. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, uh -oh. your combat trousers are as tight as my ass, <laughs> and your blue sweater is as old as your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that one. Oh, the girls, oh. Louisa, your hair extensions mean that hundreds of women in India are now bald. <laughs> <laughs> But Louisa's worst fashion crime is that she has a fur pair of boots Ooh. and a handbag made of python. So I, my advice to Louisa is that she should go naked rather than wear fur, which, by the way, is as over as your career. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Casey oh is a shopaholic. And the two weeks she spent in the Big Brother house means that New Look has gone out of business. <laughs> <laughs> and my advice to the housemates with your wardrobes, we could set fire to the lot, but I fear that a blazing inferno of polyester would finally bring the Big Brother house down. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> I liked it. I give you an A. Woo! Your writing is extremely entertaining, and it would be perfect for comedy. And I think you're wonderful. Yeah! yeah. Well done, Lizzie. You give me a way. <laughs> the writing was fabulous, but I just didn't agree with your comments on everybody. So I'm giving you a six. Up next, it's pop star Lee Ryan. I've written this song today about the Big Brother house. I hope that you guys can understand and, and take what you want from the song. Bear with me, because I am quite nervous. <laughs> but, okay, this is called um, Ruled by the Moon. Shit, I forgot the fucking first thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Just relax, Lee. Take your time. Ooh. Take your time. Just quickly. Yeah. Amazing. Don't worry about that. That was so from the fucking heart, man. I'm going to get in there. Got it? Okay. All right, okay. <coughs> yeah. Twelve stars falling from the sky Trying to survive while they're watching you in these games, games that make you play, change from day to day. Someone's gotta lose. Sometimes I feel I've got so much to lose. Time's overdue Now I found a friend in you And we're ruled Ruled by the moon I know you were really nervous, that kind of came across a little bit. Yeah. But I just expected a little bit more, that's all. Yeah. This evening I'm giving you an eight. Oh, well, thank you so much. Woo! Lee, mate, I thought you did a fantastic job. You were taken out of your comfort zone, put on your own. I thought you showed the true grit of a South East London Charlton boy, <laughs> and you are going to get a nine oh, for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
It's a shame you're so nervous. <laughs> no, no. Because you touched me in places I've never knew. <laughs> <laughs> it was a beautiful song with beautiful words. I'd like to give you a touch. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up, the winner is revealed. And have Sam and Ollie reached breaking point. Are you fucking joking? There's never a plan. There's never a planned situation. Now, how would you like to escape the day job for seven nights to live like a celebrity? We're giving away a once-in-a-lifetime holiday for two to the stunning Maldives with, get this, business class flights. And it doesn't stop there. You'll arrive at the Kuramapi Island Resort by seaplane, taking in the spectacular views before being whisked off to your very own water villa, staying full board with private sun deck and jacuzzi. We'll also throw in a 60-minute spa treatment each, plus a relaxing sunset cruise to help you unwind. Remember, one of you at home will win this amazing prize. So if you want to be in with a chance of scooping this fantastic holiday for two worth over £11,000, just text CBB to 66155. Or you can post your name and phone number to to CBB, PO Box 7557, Derby, DE10 NP. Text costs £2 plus one message at standard network rate. Lines close on the date shown on screen and three days later for postal entries. For rules and winners, go to channel5.com slash win. Six eleven pm. Housemates have been watching Big Brother's talent show for the past 24 minutes. Next to perform is glamour model Casey Bachelor. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Racy Casey, and I shall be talking about none other than myself. Woo I'd like to start off saying that I am a glamour model. People say that we are crude. Well, that's fucking bollocks. <laughs> And they say that we aren't no role models. Well, how else are you going to bag yourself a footballer, I tell you? There's no other fucking way. Have you seen these people that say that I'm sexist and that I'm degrading? Well, have you ever seen an ugly glamour model? Oh, I need I say fucking more. <laughs> need I say more. Anyway, I moustache because my new boyfriends are playing Watford tonight. And I can't miss that. But before I go, I'd just like to say, if you've got it, flaunt it. And you should all be proud of what you've been given, whether it be singing, acting, writing, comedian, or a big pair of tits. As long as they keep going, I shall keep working. Good night. Casey, I think you're going to be a comedy star. Thank you. Ten. Oh, thank you. Interesting choice of outfit. <laughs> Racy Casey. Eight. Thank you. If you've got it, flaunt it. Why not? Thank You're you. beautiful and congratulations. Well done. Thank you. I give you an eight. Thank you. Well done. Me and Ollie don't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Sam and I are so fucked. <laughs> Up next, it's Dappy with his number one single, No Regrets. If I should die before awake, the least that I could ever say, I made mistakes but held on to my faith. Cause when I look in a mirror, I don't even recognize myself. And got the heart of a winner. But looking back at me as someone else No regrets, no regrets No point in crying over yesterday hey, hey. No regrets, no regrets Cause you ain't even seen the best of me All together ladies and gentlemen Cause when I look in the mirror I don't even recognize myself Got the heart of a winner But looking back at me as someone else No regrets, no regrets Cause you ain't even seen the best of moi yeah. My honest critique of your performance It's taken my breath away Thank you so much And it's made me fill up I wanted you to be really good 
because I love you, but I didn't know just how wonderful you are. Thank you, Tim. If I could, I'd give you 100, but I can only give you 10. Thank you so much. I did love the dick grab at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'm a little bit in love with Daffy. Thank you, Tim. I've given you a nine. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm not mad about the old bum hanging out of the trousers. But I know, that's just me. But, uh, but it was fabulous, and congratulations. Thank well you done. Very much. Daffy, I've given you a nine. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Is it because the bomb was hanging out? You never yeah. gave me a ten. I <laughs> know. Ollie and Sam are the final housemates to face the judges. They have to improvise a reality scene while incorporating a series of props which Big Brother has provided for them. They have no idea what props are inside their prop bags. Sammy, I need to get something off my chest. Come on. I have um, been seeing someone. Hey. Linda. Are you fucking joking? There's never planned. There's never a planned situation. You know how much I love you, and I've loved you for... Love? A what? This is what you call love? Yeah, well, it has to be love. Oh, well, you can have this back for a starter. Take your shoes back, all your stupid <laughs> role play <laughs> that you made me do. These were a gift. Does Linda know about this? Does Linda know that you love doing this? Well, if she loves me all as much shit, as I love you, yeah, then you should All this shit that, that I have to put up with, you're dressing around in your red shoes, you're left, you can just have it back. Oh. Well, fine, I'll fucking put them on there. If you hate them so much, I'm going to fucking wear them. I love you, and you know I love you, and, I, and you love me. The situation we've got is that I've fallen for someone else, and every time... You've done this before as well. When? You know you've done this before. How many times? When I was sexting Jim, we spoke about this. You didn't care. Sexting. I know we've got problems, but I do love you. And I do want to spend the rest of my life with you. Sam Fairs, will you marry me? <gasps> yes! I think a lot of people will say that Towie and Major and Chelsea stars are perhaps talentless, but you've both shown that you're very talented tonight. Oh. And for that beautiful piece of acting and for making me cry with laughter, it's a 10. Yeah. Oh, Only, you know, make an old woman happy. <laughs> I only watch you making bread because you do it without your top on. <laughs> um, you were both fabulous. I loved it. It's a 10. Yeah. Well done. You deserve it. I've watched television and watched professional comedians do improv and they didn't do it as well as you. Great, great acting from two good actors. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's not a 10 from me, because it's what you do for a living. Other people here have done something that's out their comfort zone, so it's a nine, but still brilliant. Thank you. Do you understand what I mean? Oh, thank you. The winners of tonight's In the Limelight are Ollie and Sam. There we are. Housemates will be rewarded with a party later for all their hard work. I never got that text. I'm looking forward to it. 7.45 p.m. Dabby is getting comfortable in the judge's chair. Yeah, you're good. You're going flat. Got no vibrato. 
Personally, you did my fucking nothing. So, for that reason, I'm giving you a zero. Now get off the stage. Next. Most of the housemates are in the bedroom yeah. getting ready for their party. Let's yeah. party. Why? Have you got earplugs, Jim? Right. I'm not sleeping here tonight. Yeah. You have to sleep in here. Why don't you just come to bed and we'll all stay in the lounge and then we'll when we quiet. come to bed we'll be quiet? Yeah, right. Okay. You only have to ask politely. Okay. Why should I ask politely? Because we asleep? don't know unless you ask us. Okay. I thought it would be manners. If someone's asleep, you, you don't come in and make the noise. You, uh, you walked into the bedroom and we were all in bed. I'm not going to argue with you. Well, I hardly wake you up when you're walking through the bedroom, did I? OK. You should, like, just talk to people, communicate instead of bitching. OK. I'll stop bitching. Well, just communicate. Just say, I would prefer it if you partied outside and when you came in the bedroom, you were quiet, if you don't mind. And we would all say, that's absolutely fine, Jim. We'll party outside and when we come in the bedroom, we'll be quiet. OK. There you go. That was easy. Thank you. That's cleared that up. Nine or two p.m. Big Brother has laid out a party food feast for the house. Oh wow! Wow! <laughs> oh cool. Mm. Yay! Yeah. Party food. Mm, so good. Mm. Ah. Thank you, Big wow. Brother. Oh, look, I've got some. Thank you, Big oh. Brother. Mm. Is that chicken? I'm going to make chicken. Mmm. Look at that fruit. Ah, uh, you've got a white, Big Brother. Hey, let's check the fridge. Oh, no, it won't be, will it? Mmm. Yeah. Can you get some mini plates? Yeah. Do you want to try these? Box. Oh, yeah. Box. Oh, I don't too. Have you No, I don't think so. I love these. What are those? Well, well done, everyone. That was a really yeah. fun task. Yeah, yeah. Well, well done. done. Yeah. Really good times. I love it when we're all happy and having a good time. Yeah. I really enjoy it so much. <laughs> it's a terrible spread. I mean, James just walked in and walked out. Did he really? Yeah. It's a terrible spread. We haven't eaten. Mm. I'd rather have this from chickpeas, I'll tell you that. Oh, oh absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Ten twelve p.m. Jim and Liz are chillaxing together. Fucking, fucking give me a fucking drink. Make me bloody drink. Want a drink? I have a fucking drink. Want a drink? Make me a drink. I have a drink. Mad. He's mad. Like a little boy, isn't he? Huh? Like a little boy. Yeah. Lovely. You gotta love this tune, though. Romancing, I give it it all. Can you hear this, Nolan's? Who's the vocal? Fuck no. I don't know. Is this you singing? Dancing. Is it which part's you? I'm in the mood. Mm. 
Bernie single with that one. Yeah. Great voice <coughs> to have. Yeah. All right, Peter, Bernie, Sister Bernie. <sighs> Coming up, Dappy gets an eyeful. What the hell is that? Jesus Christ. <laughs> and Louisa has a question. Casey, do you still fancy Lee? Ten fifty seven PM. Spirits are high and the party is in full swing. All right. And then, then it goes again. In the diary room, Jim is not amused. Jim, what's your idea of a perfect night? Certainly not partying with your arms in the air, drinking undrinkable wine. They look over and say, why don't you come and join in? Because I don't want to. I don't dance to that music. I don't dance to any music, really. Have you got to do that, Sam? Do you not like dancing, Jim? No. Not really. No, it's a girl thing, I think, really. You, you want to fit in and you put a fixed grin on as you're listening to music that would make you want to vomit normally. And... And you try and fit in, but really you're just waiting for people to say, get rid of that old fucker. And let the kids play. How could this evening be improved for you? I could die. Twelve ten am Louisa has found a novel use for her earrings. That looks like a nipple. Right, leave it in there, get another one, would we'll you? Yeah, see if the boys notice. Yeah. See if they start looking. Just yeah, don't just say don't anything, say just anything. watch what watch them look. <laughs> so you've got a double nipple that side there. Yeah. Yeah. Just watch their faces, see if they look. Oh my god, it's <laughs> so realistic. They're coming. Perfect timing. I don't think they are. They look really real. Rian Sajke. Come and sit over here and be social. And in young. Because obviously Dad, I'm older than be you guys, so I did it. I'm not as current now. I'm more How old did school. you get um, I saw them a couple of years ago. Come here, Devin. Come and sit. It's really bright that top, Lily. I know. It's like the it's brightest nice thing ever. It's quite dirty. <laughs> what? Hey, brother! What the hell is that? <laughs> Jesus. I can't help it. What is her rich She's been <laughs> playing with them for like half an hour. Jesus. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I can't help her. What the <laughs> hell? She's been playing with them for like half an hour, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> what's that? What's that? Don't touch him. No, I didn't mean to. I just, I just, are you? <laughs> Dumb it. Dumb it. Liz is getting an early night. Hello, Dappy. Hello. Dappy, how is your evening going? Amazing. Just... I'm not really a boob man. And I must say... I wonder how the hell... Lulu gets through customs every time she goes to the blooming airport, because... 
She needs, I think she needs about four passports. Every time she goes through, I must I reckon they're like, doo, 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 doo. what's his name and what's her name? And because boy, it seemed like that one had a heartbeat. That one looked like it was gonna come out and grab me. Bleah, like, jeez, she got a nice set of knockers. And I think she's rather frustrated because it ain't cold in the house. I'll tell you that. I've been like, around loads of beautiful women in my life, but I tell you what, I've never had two beautiful women next to me with such a great perfect set of knockers each. Like for God's sake. I've been I've been looking at Casey Wacey in a way. Even though she's not maybe not looking at me in that way, because obviously she got a little thing with Lily and whatnot. But I tell you what, he's He's sexy, I like her. I'm feeling her because she's, she, she, she's nice, I like her. She's just, she, she's become, starting to become my, one of my new favourites, I'll tell you that. One or five AM, Louisa has a surprise for Duppy. Ooh, um, they're still aroused. Stay away from me. <laughs> I want to. Yeah, go on. You don't need to do that. Just read it. Joke, Dumpy. Look down my top. <laughs> Look down my top. They're not there. They're, they're not boobs. I know they're not. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Kizzy is telling Jim and Lee about her spiritual medium. How are they looking after you? No, she just tells you that they're, they're there for you, like... They do tell you stuff that's going to happen yeah, as well. Yeah, they tell you stuff that's going to happen. And stuff they, that's happened. And they also tell you stuff to stay away from. Yeah. Like They'll what? say to you, stay away from this, it's no good for you. <laughs> Actually, they spoke about another person. But when I get out, I'm going to go and see her and she will say to me, <laughs> stay, stay away from, away from <laughs> that Lee Ryan. Stay you don't away. need to do that, just from read it in the Lee paper. <laughs> You yeah. just read that in the paper. <laughs> she only had to watch the show to get that. <laughs> she, only to... <laughs> she only had to watch the show. <laughs> she didn't fucking need fucking medium for that shit. <laughs> Honestly, I'll give you 20 quid and tell you that. <laughs> yeah, but Casey, he could still end up with you. No, not now. Too much has happened. Really? <laughs> I'm fucking believable. What? You lie like a cheap watch. <laughs> I've just got to put me aftershave on. <laughs> you lie like a cheap watch. I mean, what's a fucking... What am I, a fucking madman? <laughs> We'd just funny. be good friends now, wouldn't we? Yeah. Are you friends with me? Yeah. Did you leap on me like you just leapt on him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're like friends with benefits. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Don't see your medium, see what she says. She's going to tell me to stay. Yeah, well, she will. Stay yeah. the fuck away. What do you think, Jimbo? He could have you when he wants. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, Jim. <Jeez. laughs> <laughs> you asked me what I... Hey, Casey, you asked me what I thought. I told you. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. Um, you asked me. What do you want me to say? say yeah. <laughs> if you didn't want him to have you... <laughs> The only reason I said that is because you want him to. <laughs> is he not want Otherwise me, then? you wouldn't be doing all is this shit. Does he not want me then? What? Is it, not the, other is it not the other You're way around? I'm, I'm not a medium. You is must go and see your... Is it not the other Give way around? Give him 20 people with... No, it's not. You want him to, want you? Oh, my goodness. Shut up, Najimbo. Don't ask me then. <laughs> what? Oh, simple. Right, what are you talking about? Nothing. He's making her feel uncomfortable. Ah, oh, poor Case. My Is it because you like Lee still? Okay. Me again. Case, 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 case. I'll tell fucking Ryan, it ain't my fault. Yeah, top me up badly. Top me up. Casey, do you still fancy <laughs> Lee? Huh? Is that it? <laughs> do you still fancy <laughs> Lee? I need more than this. <laughs> I said this in the diary of earlier. Hey, Casey, go easy now. You're going to feel shit tomorrow. Oh, oh go on, Casey. I'm a drinker. I've got fuck all to do anyway, Tim. Oh. She can <laughs> definitely <laughs> sleep on that. Take no After the break, it's Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves in The Lake House. <laughs> 